They want Bolo first? All right, we'll do Bolo first. Okay, we got two people saying Bolo, so. Okay, here we go. The mel this Melody app is like Tinder before Loops made a, made a crazy unedited beat using Loop and Logic Pro X. Okay. Okay. First Bolo. Things first, go Bucks. This is fucking long as hell, dude. 25 minutes? Oh my God. Okay, we're not off to a great start here. We took a hard defeat. We took it on the chin. Okay, testing. Okay. Shout out I'm to good. the uh, cowgirls. I mean, cowboys fans out there. <sighs> that is true. The the bolo thing. That is catchy. That is catchy. I like that. It was rough, but I'm always still going to be a buccaneer. Either way, today we are going to be using a brand new app called the Melody app. It is kind of like Tinder, you know, the dating app, but with loops. Even though I've never used so i feel like he's like is it just me or does he talk kind of slow i can't know if, i can't tell if i just had like a lot of coffee tinder before have you guys used tinder before Bolo! all right before we get started with this video i was gonna say that intro that that was a perfect amount to play that intro because any longer than that that's too long i hate when people have like 30 second intros i skip that shit every time you guys already know to go ahead and get my drum kits because i'm gonna go ahead and use my drum kits on the beat today don't know which one i'm gonna use but i'm gonna use one of my drum kits today and all of my drum kits damn bro okay my first evaluation here there's a lot of self promo going on here it's like a very slow we got a very slow start here all those live beat reviews are pretty fire for trap beats i already want to fast forward i kind of do too um app sounds like blocks wave bolo has a slow southern act very good so if you do not have one of my drum kits go ahead and pick them up right now my new buffs kit is oh god damn it dude please just speed up just speed it up come on man See, a lot of people are sending back some crazy beats with it so go ahead and pick up okay, i'm gonna point it thing is if you need some equipment go to zounds dot com okay but go ahead and click the link that i have down here this click is way this too long because this is way too long to start a video i mean shout out to everyone making content but and shout out to everyone shout out to everyone in the world shout out to everyone all right but this is way too long to start a video i mean maybe this is what i'm doing wrong though you know push this is drum kits hard i fast forward all videos even yours weaver you mean like you, you speed it up oh that's messed up that's messed up how dare you say that to me Dude, man, how dare you say that to me how do, i can't even believe you would say something like that to me <laughs> yes we got i don't even say that to me i can't believe you say something like me. Good luck speeding this up now. You guys can go ahead and get it's also a live stream right now without a credit check or a background check. So go ahead and click that link in the description. Oh right my now. god, dude, are you kidding me? We're two minutes in. Go ahead and get you some gear. You can go through, scroll through some loot. I'd probably be rich if I was doing this. So some of you are like, "What is the Melody app?" Well, it, okay, this is an actual app. Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna scream if it wasn't. <laughs> you can go through, scroll through some loops, find the loops that you like, save them, and then send them to like your email or something like that. Yeah, not only am I gonna respect the hustle, I think I'm gonna copy it too. I'm gonna do this. My next my next hundred videos, guys, it's just gonna be three to five minutes of promo. And then download them to your favorite program or to your favorite drum machine and make some beats with it. But I will tell you this, the loops are not royalty free. Okay, you are going to have to give the loot makers 10%. I mean, what would be the point of it if it was royalty free? Like if you, if it's like a tender, but for melody loops, which already, this is a really weird idea to begin with. But if it was royalty free, like what would be the point of that? You're just giving out free shit when you could just give out free shit on like Twitter or on your YouTube page or fucking anywhere on the internet. And people will just free, they, people will go way out of their way to download that. You wouldn't have to put it on some sort of app. And I think that's actually pretty fair, you know, and then you never know. You can maybe make a pretty decent relationship with some of the loop makers and you never know y'all could become the biggest producer tandem of all times but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys imagine you find like nick mira on there or something <laughs> that's how this app works and then we're gonna go ahead and pick a loop and then we're gonna make a beat inside of logic pro if you like the loop you just go ahead and swipe right and what that does is it saves the loop. yeah i had to speed it up and they made this as simple as possible and then if you swipe down this is just like a play button basically you just swipe and there's a play button <laughs> see some of the information like the person who made the loop it's that simple so i'm very curious this did seem like an interesting video though. I'm gonna sub. I wasn't sub. <laughs> oh. I like how he's like, that's hard, and then skips it. It's like, damn, that is sick as hell. All right, anyways, next. Mm. That's the funniest shit, dude. That is hard. That is amazing. That is insane. I can't believe that. Anyways, moving on. It's like a Detroit loop there. 
love the Detroit news. I like these. Let's save that. All right, so we got some stuff that we got saved already. And once I go is this paid promo? I'm curious about that. But going there, I have my melodies that I saved, which I have some more. That I mean, maybe maybe you just thought it was interesting too. And now that I got all, Dude, is it? Let me guess. Is it limited like Tinder? Like if you you only could do so many matches a day before you got to pay money. Watch one of his hot take videos. All right, we'll go to that next. We're probably just gonna watch a few. I'm just trying to get a feel for his content for when we do the tier list. That's probably why this video is so long. Making a beat, no cuts or breaks. I'm not a big fan of no cuts or breaks. Uh, like watching someone make a beat. Uh, and we're like I get that's useful for beginners. I don't think every video needs to be like that though. I mean, like once in a while or something. And uh, okay, let's just hear the end of it here. It's hot takes or something. I think I've heard a few of them. He's pretty cool. I'm not super familiar. Is this Logic? It gives me like Garage Band vibes. I think it's pretty cool. All right, let's go check out one of his hot take videos. What do you guys think is a good one or bad one? One thing I will say is thumbnails are, they're not bad, they're not bad. I hate I hate when I, well, I hate really bad thumbnails. Like I hate when someone's just like, if you're hitting, if you're hitting me with the soy face in a video, I'm I'm gonna be upset immediately before I even watch it. God, I hate the dumbass face thumbnails. I have a browser plugin to avoid that. Interesting. Let's see, beat makers aren't producers was a good hot take. He took it back? He took it back. My apology to beat producers, I was wrong. He took down the video. I kind of feel like it's bad to take down a video ever because like, even if there's something wrong with it, there's still something to be learned, you know? His videos are just really padded, I feel like. Older producers stop hating on the young producers. That sounds kind of good. Whoops. Social media has ruined hip hop, okay. You gotta do Dame Taylor. Uh, I, I wanna put him in here, but like I was trying to get people with like at least 50K. I, I, Cause the reason why I'm trying to get people with at least 50K subs is I wanna make sure it's someone who's like at least developed their content. You know what I mean? Which is funny cause I don't even have 50K subs. And I wanna make sure like I'm not gonna like upset someone who's like still hasn't found their, their way yet, you know? All right, let's address the elephant in the room. Is there too many producers? And it's like, all right, let's address the problem in the room. And you just look around the room and it's just full of fucking music producers. It's full of dudes with that fucking haircut, the fucking internet money haircut. I'm about to take a lot of pics with this haircut. It's like, okay, we got to talk about this. And they're all just like, rrr, 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 they're all talking at the same time. Is the game oversaturated? Let's talk about it. Bolo! Maybe it's just me, but I'm not a big fan of these like intros like this anymore. I feel like it's just too predictable. All right, before we get started, let's go ahead and give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is DistroKid. If you do not have a DistroKid account, you need to go ahead and get one because it is the fastest and easiest way to go ahead and get your songs placed on all the major... Okay, we can skip this. Go, go Damn, it's got, a, it's got a DistroKid sponsor, and the DistroKid sponsor takes up like a minute of the video, and the video is only six minutes. Count. They were getting a little fed up because it was kind of hard. I mean, maybe you make some good points, though. It's hard for them to get placements on big albums and everything like that, but you know, like me, as I say all the time, I don't chase placements. I like to find new talent and work with new talent and kind of build with that to where... They some people would say that's a cop-out, but I actually do agree with that because like when you're competing for placements, like a lot of people are more interested in the fame than the money. And because of that, you're gonna be sacrificing a lot of money. So it's like, it's not really a very, I mean, it can be financially lucrative, but it can also not be at all too. You could, you could be just like eating shit for a while, you know? You will eat shit for a while. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like, I don't know, there's too much focus on placements and not enough focus on like making good music. I mean, that sounds corny, but it's true. A multiple form of placements, but a lot of these guys really want to get with these bigger artists and they're saying that it's harder to do it now because there is so many producers. Now, I'm a little bit older in age, but not how I feel, but I am a little bit older. And back when I first started out, it wasn't to me, it wasn't that many producers. Not that I can think of because back. I agree. Like when I first started, it was pretty rare to know anyone that produced. Like I know I knew maybe like three or four people like in real life and they all used Reason. So I started using Reason also. They first used LFL and they switched over to Reason and I started using Reason. And you actually have to spend a lot of money to actually be able to produce. I prefer collabs and build talent. Yeah, same. You can be hunting for placements, but you can also help build new talent. I mean, I'm not saying don't do it, but I'm just saying if that's the only thing you're chasing, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. You're watching Bolo. We're doing research. Yeah, at the moment we are. We're doing research for the next tier list and people want to do bolo first so that's what we're doing didn't have laptops like that or you had to have a computer which even the slowest of the slowest computers built today is actually 10 times faster than the computers that it was back then and you had to have money to buy those back then so it was not a lot of people producing and it wasn't that many people rapping at that time or even singing or whatever because it took a lot of money to book out oh no there was a lot when i started at least there was a lot of people rapping i would say there was like more people trying to rap than produce studios back then because you either had to know somebody who had the money or you had to have your own money to go in some of these bigger studios because it, it, it cost a lot back then but now with so many laptops out how cheap the programs are with all the sounds that are 
are being made with all of the loot kits, midi packs, everything. There is a ton of producers out. And some of these guys are saying, hey man, there's no space. We don't have no space. It's, it's too full. And I, you know, I kind of feel where they're coming at. But at the end of the day, I actually feel like it's kind of cool that you do have that many producers because competition. A lot of artists actually have options now. And then now you can collaborate with a lot of producers as well. So well, competition for, well, I mean, he didn't say competition, but the reason why I said competition is it forces you to be better. Can't really do really good bass lines. You can go ahead and go to this person, or if you can't really come up with the melody, you can go to this person and you guys can go ahead and collaborate on certain songs. Now, what they were saying was that's cool because, you know, between them, they collaborate, but they feel like it is just way too many producers right now. And they feel like it is thinning out the system, basically meaning that you can get this one producer and then the next album you can get this producer. And in some ways that's true in terms of like industry placements, because there's only so many people in the top level of the industry, you know what I mean? So, and like, there's only so many songs put out a year. I'm not, obviously I don't know what the number would be, but there's not as many of those as there, as there are producers trying to get placements. So it's like basically going to be like a, a totem pole or like a, um, what do you call it? Uh, like a food chain, you know? So this producer, next you know, you can push order. aside because there'll be so many new producers out. Now, I want to hear what you guys feel about that because what I was basically telling them is if you're good, you're good. No matter how many producers are out here. If you are good, you will be able to get songs placed because people will remember great work. That's what I was saying. But they nah, that's not true, dude. There's lots of people with insane talent that don't get placements. I know tons of people like that. Like, I've heard people make the most insane beats that have like 20 followers. They can't get fucking anything, dude. I'm saying that even though that you are getting great work, a lot of these labels are basically... I mean, I really see that, especially on my feedback streams. I'll hear the most insane beats and it's someone with like fucking 20 followers. Trying to get all these new producers in, these younger producers, these producers who are not really into the game, they try to bring them in and get them at a lower rate so that way they won't be spending money. And they say a lot of artists have been doing that as well too, is like getting a lot of these other young producers and to give them a few bucks or whatever and then they're happy with the money that they make and then they can just push them along the side. Which yeah, I'll get you two two McDonald's cheeseburgers. You know what? Make that one and a half. I'm, I'm kind of hungry, that's why. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need that I'm gonna need that half of that one. I do understand that, but I think once you get deep enough into the game and more knowledgeable about the game, I still honestly feel that quality actually beats quantity. I think people will pay for what they know it is good. That's why certain producers i mean while i do agree to a certain point i mean there's a lot of bullshit like i mean we've all heard like major place beats that have like an out of tune 808 or something right and we can all agree an out of tune 808 is not good that's just not good it's not going to sound as good as one in tune with certain artists because these artists really like how certain producers work with them in the studio and they like the product that they're making do i feel like the game is oversaturated yes there is more producers of course the game is a little oversaturated but i still feel like that if you have the best material you will be used more regardless of what somebody wants to spend or not because at the end of the day, there are some people who want my type of production. Now, I'm not the best producer in the world, but my production fits with certain people better than other people's productions. I've heard several beats from a lot of young guys who are now out right now who have some phenomenal beats, but they just don't fit certain artists. So what I say to a lot of you guys out there who are struggling to get placements, who are struggling to find your way through the game, find your own lane, stick to that lane, and just get better at what you're doing in that lane. That way, people will come to you for what you have rather than you trying to make different beats for everybody else. I got caught up in it. I was making beats that I was trying to fit in certain lanes, but then once I started coming back to what I was used to doing and I started getting better at what I was used to doing, a lot more people started coming back on board. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think the game is oversaturated or do you think- Yeah, obviously. Every Friday, his beat review signups, live reviews on Wednesday nights. Uh, if you guys don't know Bolo produced the Watch Me Nanas, he did, that's, that's fucking funny. Okay, I think we got enough on Bolo. Incorporated.